Good morning everyone. My name is Vijay Gupta and you are watching Biology Classes. So welcome to all of you in this lecture of Biology. Students, in this lecture we will discuss about a new topic that is male reproductive system. This topic is especially important for all my 12 students, all the students who are preparing for any medical entrance exam such as NEET, B Pharma, D Pharma etc. Also for BSc students and for 10 students. So let's start the video. In this video, I will discuss about the male reproductive system in detail, different parts of male reproductive system, their functions and their structures. So start with the, this chart. The male reproductive system can be divided into two main parts, the main organs and the accessory organs. Main organs are one pair of testes while the second accessory organs can further divide it into three different categories. So first of all, I would like to tell you all the details with the help of this diagram and then I will discuss this chart. So as you can see in this diagram, these are the testes. So these are the testes and these are one pair actually. I made this diagram by side but in front diagram you can see there are one pair. One pair of testes are found in the male and these are the main reproductive organs. So the main organ are one pair of testes. Now the testes are situated inside a bag like structure which is known as testis sac or scrotum. As in this diagram this is the testis and these are the bag like structure which is known as testis sac or scrotum. So inside the testis sac one pair of testes are situated outside of the abdominal cavity. Testes are present outside of the abdominal cavity. Why? What is the reason behind that? Because inside the testes, a sperm formation takes place. Sperms are produced inside the testes by the process of spermatogenesis. And for the spermatogenesis, the temperature is very high inside the abdominal cavity. That is the reason the testes are present outside of the abdominal cavity due to the low temperature and sperm formation takes place easily outside of the body. So these are the testes, the main reproductive organ. So the testes are the important organ and the testes perform two important functions. The first function is spermatogenesis means formation of sperm while the second function is to secrete the testosterone hormone. As we know that testosterone is the main male hormone which uh, describes the different secondary sexual characters of male such as body hairs, uh, facial, uh, facial hairs, uh, pubic hairs etc are decided by the testosterone hormone are the masculine character all the masculine characters are generated in the male with the help of this testosterone hormone so there are two important functions of testis the first one is formation of a sperm or a spermatogenesis while the second one is production of testosterone hormone and the testosterone hormone is produced by the special types of cells known as interstitial cells or the leydig cells which are present inside the testis so this is the main function of test are about 3 to 5 centimeter long 2 to 3 centimeter broad and the weight is about 14 to 15 gram of each testis and the color of testis is pinkish white so these testis are pinkish white in color now the second one all the accessory organ we will talk about just above the testis a tubule is present which is known as epididymis it is about 6 centimeter long tubule and is spread over the testis. When that sperm produced inside the testis, the sperm, the mature sperms reaches into the epididymis. So the epididymis is stored the mature sperms. So this is the function of epididymis. After epididymis, as you can see in this diagram, a tube arises, a duct arises from the epididymis, which is known as vas deferens. One more thing I would like to tell you: there are two testes, so there are two epididymis and two vas differences. Most of the organs are paired in this reproductive system, but this is the side diagram, side view. So you can see only one uh, diagram, sorry, one was difference. So this was difference arises from the epididymis and opens near the seminal vesicle or open inside the seminal vesicle. Actually, the mature sperms are stored inside the epididymis. These sperm carries inside the abdominal cavity for reproduction with the help of this tubule known as the vas difference. So vas difference carries the sperms from epididymis into the seminal vesicle and it stores the sperms inside the seminal vesicle. Now what about seminal vesicle? Seminal vesicle is a bag like a structure which is about 5 cm long and this seminal vesicle produces 
an alkaline substance which is known as semen. The sperm mixes with semen and helps in the process of reproduction. But the complete semen does not produce by the seminal vesicle. Only 75% of semen is produced by the seminal vesicle. So, inside the seminal vesicle, a white colored alkaline liquid is produced which is known as semen and this semen mixed with the sperm and helps in reproduction. After the seminal vesicle, you can see another duct which is about 1 to 1.5 centimeter long. This duct is known as ejaculated duct and it plays a very important role after the sexual intercourse. When the male and female get attached and during sexual intercourse, at the time of climax, the male ejaculate and release the sperm with the semen inside the vagina of the female. So at that time, the ejaculated duct pumps the semen into the urethra, which passes through the penis. So the important function of ejaculated duct is the process of ejaculation which takes place after the sexual intercourse between male and female. So this is the function of ejaculated duct. Now after the ejaculated duct, I would like to tell you about the urinary system. This bag-like structure is known as urinary bladder. As we know that our kidneys produce urine and this urine passes through the ureters and collects inside this bladder which is known as urinary bladder. From urinary bladder, urethra arises. As you can see this tube, this tube is known as urethra which carries the urine outside of the body and it also attached with the ejaculated duct. So the ejaculated duct pumps the semen into the urethra while urinary bladder passes the urine through the urethra. Both move towards outside with the help of a common passage which is known as urethra. Now the urethra passes through a, an erectile cylindrical organ which is the most important organ that is called penis. So penis helps in the process of sexual intercourse. This penis consists of three main parts, the root, the body while the upper solen part which is known as the gland penis. The gland penis is covered by a skin which is the, as you can see here these are the skin folds and these skin folds cover the gland penis and these skin folds are known as prepuce. So when the penis is not excited it is covered by the skin fold which is known as prepuce. So this is the gland penis covered by the prepuce, gland penis and this is the penis. Now at the tip of gland penis an opening is present which is known as external genital opening and this external, through the, this opening urine and semen both are passed out from the male reproductive system. Now there are two important glands are also present in the male reproductive system. Number one is prostate gland. As you can see, I made it with a sky blue color. This is the prostate gland. And this prostate gland attached at the junction point of urethra with the ejaculated duct. This prostate gland plays a very important role in the formation of semen. As I told you before, that 75% part of semen is produced by the seminal vesicle. While 25%, remaining 25% part of semen is produced by the prostate gland. So this is the function of prostate gland. Now the last thing is Cowper's gland. Just near the prostate gland, one pair of small bulbous structures are present which are known as Cowper glands, also known as bulbo-urethral. Bulbo means bulb-like and urethral why? Because these are attached with the urethra. So bulbo-urethral or Cowper's gland are present both sides of the urethra. And now what is the function of these uh, bulbo-urethral gland? As we know that this is the urine. Urine is filled inside the urinary bladder. Pay attention properly. This is a very important point. So, urine filled inside the urinary bladder. And this urine comes out through the urethra. As a result, the medium of urethra becomes acidic as the pH value of urine is less than 7. Less than seven. So, it is acidic in nature. So, the urethra becomes acidic. But, on contrast, the semen is alkaline which may or which consist of a sperm. So the mortality of a sperm may be disturbed. Maybe the sperm will not work properly in this medium. So the Cowper gland secrete a transparent liquid which is alkaline in nature and passes through the urethra and clean the urethra and neutralize the alkaline sorry neutralize the acidic medium of urethra. As a result the sperm can move easily in the urethra. So this is the function of Cowper's gland or the bulbo urethral gland. 
so this was all about the diagram so now we will discuss about this chart so this is the male reproductive system outline male reproductive system can be divided into two parts the one number one main organs while the second one is accessory organs as we know main organs are one pair of testes i have described testes and um, the accessory organs can further divide into three categories the genital ducts the glands and the supporting organs the genital ducts carries the sperms the glands produce different kinds of secretions and supporting organs plays supporting role so how many genital ducts are there number one epididymis so as you can see this is the epididymis which collects the mature sperms second one was difference this is the vas deferens which carries the sperm from seminal from epididymis to seminal vesicle next one is ejaculatory duct so this is the ejaculatory duct which helps in ejaculation now the last is urethra so number 4 is urethra which also carries the sperm so all these four ducts carries the sperm as you can see here 1 2 3 and 4 all the all these four ducts carries sperm so they helps in carries the sperm these are the genital duct now the next is gland now what is a gland a gland is a group of cells which secrete a special substance and in this diagram as i have told you that there are three structures which secrete a substance first one is seminal vesicles vesicle as i told you it's produce the about 75% of part of semen second one is prostate gland with this is the prostate gland which also secrete a liquid which forms about the 25% of semen while the last one are cowper glands which also secrete a, an alkaline and sticky substance which neutralize the medium the passage of the urethra so all these structures functions as a gland so we categorize in the glands and they produce different kinds of secretion now the last one is supporting organ supporting organs plays supporting role number one scrotum or testis sac as we know testes are present outside of the body so these scrotum or the testis sac provide a support to the testis now the next one is penis penis is an erectile organ which helps to carry the sperm to release the sperm inside the vagina of the female so it also helps in the sexual intercourse so this is also a supporting organ so it was all about the male reproductive system i hope all the things all the topic is very clear to you diagram is clear to you still if you have any confusion any question any query you may ask in the comment section i will try my best to reply you now i will meet you with a new topic 